Welcome back. SGL Automotive Carbon Fibers plans to fund an electric vehicle charging station as a settlement with the State Department of Ecology for air quality violations. The $125,000 project will build a charging station in Moses Lake to help reduce air pollution from motor vehicles. The project is part of an agreement between SGL and Ecology. The charging station will be compatible with the State Department of Transportation's fast charging network, the West Coast Electric Highway, which locates charging stations every 25 to 50 miles along Interstate 5, sections of Interstate 90, and other major roadways. The station in Moses Lake will provide a link in the state's development of an east-west charging network. The closest network charging location is in Wenatchee. The theft of several items from Walmart reportedly turned into a police chase in Moses Lake. Prosecutors charged Keith Klingenberg, a 55-year-old East Wenatchee man, in Grant County Superior Court with robbery, attempting to elude a pursuing police vehicle, hit and run, and resisting arrest. Klingenberg reportedly walked into the Moses Lake Walmart on August 14th and tried walking out without paying for the items in his cart. When a security officer tried to stop him, he reportedly hit the man in the face and ran. After a Moses Lake police officer found him in a pickup truck, Klingenberg reportedly pulled away from the officer while being handcuffed, jumped in the truck, and drove away. During the chase, he allegedly damaged a fence and a van in the Airway Heights area and abandoned the pickup to run on foot. The officer reportedly caught the man and used a taser to subdue him. In Northwest news, firefighters across the state are close to containing most of the large wildfires in Washington. The Carlton Complex fire is the state's largest wildfire in history. According to the Northwest Interagency Coordination Center, the fire is just 2% away from full containment. The complex burning near Entiat has destroyed 322 residences. Another fire burning in the Entiat area, the Chihuacan Complex, is 70% contained. Four minor structures have been destroyed and 200 residences are threatened by the fire's flames. The Devil's Elbow Complex burning near the Colville Indian Reservation is up to 80% containment. No residences have been destroyed. The Snag Canyon Fire burning near Ellensburg and the South Clee Elm Ridge Fire are both at 87% containment. Collectively, the fires have destroyed 10 residences. A dog in Taft, California is being called a hero for saving a fellow canine's life. If your vet wanted to use your furry friend for a dog-to-dog -dog blood transfusion, would you say yes? Reporter Chris Ornelius tells us what the owner did. We didn't know if she was going to make it through the night. The patient was bleeding internally after ingesting rat poison. Only an emergency blood transfusion would save her life. It was hemorrhaging in its lungs and gurgling and it wasn't going to make it. That's when Piddle, a two-year-old pit bull mix, came to the rescue. Piddle donated the blood that saved another dog's life. We call him our little donor dog, but I don't know that if he's a hero. I think he just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Piddle's owner, Kanoi Bandy, was on vacation in New York and had boarded Piddle at the Taft Veterinary Hospital. On the last day of her vacation came the emergency call that another dog at the vet's office was dying and they needed Piddle to save her life. I asked if would it be dangerous and she said no. She said, but we're going to have to give him some, uh, he's going to have to get sedated. And I said, you know, he could probably use a little bit of that anesthesia, as hyper as he is. As you can see, Piddle's not really one for sitting still, but the vet says that's exactly why he wanted him, because he's such a healthy dog. It's a big dog, and uh, we had to give quite a bit of blood, so we actually gave him a sedative and then got the blood out of the jugular vein. Dogs can be given blood transfusions from other dogs, and the first time it's done, it doesn't even matter what their blood types are. You can give any type of blood the f one time to dogs, and it's not a problem. The blood recipient lived thanks to Piddle's donation of life. That's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.